Peter now, he hasn't missed one this quarter yet. Now a timeout called by Golden State. For the Warriors. Kaminga, he's checked in for Looney. Peyton comes in for Wiggins. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Thompson. And it's Poole in for Stephen Curry. A minute 53 left in the first quarter. Here's Kuminga, and he dunks it down. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Uh, entering the NBA can be a difficult challenge, and age can add to that challenge. Jonathan Kuminga was just 19 years old when he stepped onto an NBA court. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Green for three. Target from range. Green's floor stretching ability, one of the things that makes this offense so dynamic. The Lakers in the lead. Boy, being so young for his draft class. Kaminga has done well in the league, Richard. What I like is how he's capitalized on his minutes. Any chance he gets to shine, he works hard to make the most of it. That's the kind of dedication that is invaluable in a young guy. Here's Peyton. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Good chance here for DiVincenzo. Schroeder with a rebound. The Lakers have got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Now here's Poole, looking for his first basket still in this one. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That'll be a second foul of the game. Green finds DiVincenzo on the wing, Peyton. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter here. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis comes in for Bamba. And James is subbed in for Russell. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. Walker, he's checked in for the Lakers. Davis against Peyton. Davis, the pass to Walker. There's the three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. 
Outside, DiVincenzo. That one goes. Count it. James with the ball. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Lakers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be back in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, your warrior, you can see. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? And every team has them. Those games where you just don't have it. Why does that happen, Grant? Well, B, I think, first of all, 82 games. It's a grind of a season. You factor in traveling, injuries, players out for different reasons. You're going to have moments like this where it just doesn't happen. You know what you do? You learn from it, you move on, and you get ready for the next night. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. at the best in free throw shooting last year in the NBA. Jordan Poole on top. Stephen Curry is second. From the free throw line, those two were almost automatic last year. What great assets they are late in the game. All three shooters are out there. The splash triplets. Curry, Clay, and Poole. Kevon Looney is out there with Kaminga. That's the Warriors five. Look, the moment he gets it anywhere near the hoop, look, it is over. Just too much strength, too much touch, either hand. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Curry, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Pass to Russell. it in with a nice touch off the window and the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA many others would have folded Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league much less a high school. James shot that time not on target. The Warriors go the other way with it. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. Gets the three to fall. What boys from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. The Lakers have got two of three shots to go in the second. James up top. Defended by Thompson. Outside Vanderbilt. Here's Davis, and he converts the layup. Davis has got 10 points. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Draymond Green suffered through the losing years with the Dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself going. Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I have ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Brian. Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. For Los Angeles, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. And slam dunk by James. Look, getting inside positioning is what he wants. Like, once that man gets in there and gets moving, oh, he's going to finish that dunk. Sinks it from distance. Thompson's got six here in the quarter. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Viking in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Poole. Bombas checked in for Los Angeles. Beasley comes in for James. That'll be a five-second call. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Friday, they'll be taking on Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. Then on Sunday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming to town. The Los Angeles Lakers, home to some of the greatest bigs of all time. Yeah, Will, Kareem, Shaq, 
Pal Gasol, the Lake Show winning titles with those large dudes, proving that size does matter in this league. So it's the Lakers now. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Green, he's checked in for Looney. Peyton comes in for Kaminga. And it's DiVincenzo in for Clay Thompson. Now here's Davis. He's got 10. To the inside. Double team on James. Six on the shot clock. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Three on the clock. Vanderbilt, the pass to Schroeder. Over Curry. Shots good by Schroeder. Schroeder's gotten his first basket of the night. Rate of baskets assisted? It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. There's a minute 34 left to play in the second quarter. Peyton, no good. The Lakers have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Vanderbilt, the pass to Davis. Shoots over DiVincenzo. No good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. So much to say about Draymond's game. Tough to say anyone else in the league has a larger impact on their team on both sides of the floor. The Lakers in the lead. James with the ball. Green picks him up. Good. James has got six here in the quarter. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer, but this man also knows how to get cooking. The three, DiVincenzo. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got five rebounds in the game. And slam dunk by James. I'll be honest, he's having a better quarter than a lot of my nights back when I played. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at 30% here in the second. Pass to Green, back to Curry, puts up a three, and that comes off the assist by Green. Curry's got five now. It appears their offense is lacking some balance right now. Maybe too much reliance on the three ball. Here's James, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. He's not afraid of getting physical. I like how LeBron James has no problem accepting the contact while trying to score. LeBron James at the line for two. The first free throw is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Achimura's checked in. Both free throws good from James. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Now here's Curry. He's got five. Off target from three-point range. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ballgame. James passes to Achimura. Count it. One for one to start the game. Great find by Braun using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. Wiggins, no good. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers earning this break in the action. Up 10. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? we got to uh, get back in transition. But we got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Hello and welcome. LeBron James in the spotlight again. He has been getting it done. 
Well, he's putting up some SLNs in the paint. What's that? Oh, uh, that's Shaq like numbers for those in doubt. No shying away for giving out those elbow sandwiches. Hey, <laughs> see what I said? Sandwiches. <laughs> and he's cashing in. Sandwiches, cash. Oh, I'm getting hungry and I'm broke. And let's take a second now to see what the fans are saying on social media. Kenny, Home Cooking 62 is asking, who would fare better with today's style of offense, the jet or the diesel? Hmm, faster pace and emphasis on spacing the floor. You can't figure that out? Well, it takes two to space the floor. A man from long range and a man from short range. Everything in between two guys is the space. Higher education, kids. You saw it right here on 2K Sports. Now try to forget it. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second-half action with Brian Anderson and company.